You know, we are. Uh, we had a meeting actually on Monday talking about this because it, it could be crazy. But the truth is we may not know for a week. So even though it's going to be a crazy night and the next day, I don't think we'll know the next day. The only way we're going to know is if there's a sweep by one party or another. And we may know early how that's going because what's I mean, the presidential race, of course, is the number one important thing out here. But the down ballot races are very important. And we can know them early. Like if the Democrats win in Florida, then they could probably take majority in the Senate. And if Trump does win, he'll be a lame duck. But if if the Republicans win in Indiana, then chances are they're going to take majority and, and win. So, I mean, that's what's happening here. That We'll watch the down ballots because we'll know early on them. But as far as the presidential race with all these mail-in and things, it may be quite a while, even a week before we know who won. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, I'll be honest with you. So we're setting up our algorithms for a, a, either a Trump or a Biden win. But we're also setting them up for down the week when earnings are coming up and things like that, because we may not know until Friday who's winning. It, it, it's going to be a crazy night. Well, you know, unless until we got a firm indication, which we might know six o'clock at night, because the state races will be determined that day. But the, the general election could be longer because of the mail-in ballots and things like that. We're in the state, say hypothetically, you have 100,000 people in your district and 90,000 uh, receipts are, are done for the Senate. You have those in, you can tabulate that pretty fast to know, okay, even another 10%, we know who's gonna win if, if we're ahead by that in that 90,000. But on the presidential thing, you gotta get all of them into the state. So it could be a while before we know who wins the state. So it's hard to hedge right now. I don't think anyone's going to go out on a limb until we have some kind of firm. If if Republicans win the Senate in Indiana, then you could see a tilt for buying call options because it looks like they're going to control the Senate. As long as they can control the Senate, things will be OK. But if they don't control the Senate in Florida, which will report, remember, these are East Coast states. So if they win the East Coast, if the Democrats win the Senate race, in Florida, which they're slightly ahead right now, then they could win the majority. So that's key. Who wins the Senate is just as important this year as who wins the presidential. Because even if Trump loses the presidential and they control the Senate, whoever's president will be a lame duck. But if Trump wins the presidency and holds on to the Senate, then he has two thirds of the swing vote. So he'll, he'll wind up winning uh, and he'll have a majority and they'll, they'll start buying calls. But it, it'll be an interesting night, I can tell you that much. No one's going to go to sleep early if they go to sleep at all. Now, right now, you're not seeing much swing anywhere. That's why you're seeing the market so volatile at the moment. Uh, I mean, we're up today. We were down three weeks in a row. Uh, coming in today, uh, you saw the Dow down uh, for the week. The Dow was down over 3%. S&P was down over 2%. NASDAQ was down over 1%. Coming into today, we're up a little right now. But it's going to be tough to get up uh, and have a winning week. So we'll be down four weeks in a row if that happens. And, you know, we're watching that. A lot of that is election focused because you see the Democrats are winning in some states. If we lose majority, the taxes are going to go up. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that happen if the Democrats win or if the Republicans win. But no one's going out on the limb right now. It's too close to call. I've been watching these elections for years. And this is one race where it's really too close to call. And plus, you know, with the coronavirus adding question marks to what's going on with the mail in ballots may not be tabulated for weeks over the post office. So, I mean, it's going to be a crazy night. And I don't know if we'll have any firm direction. Like I said, if we have a firm direction in the Senate seats, that could change it right away. And, and that'll help us one way or another know whether the president wins or not. Or as long as, as long as one party controls the Senate, we'll have a good idea where things are going. Right. We, we, we still like the growth. We still think uh, if things go, if the Republicans get in, uh, you'll see strong growth next year. Things will things will get much better. And, um, you know, they've been edging up, like you mentioned, very little right now. Uh, again, there's talk of vaccine. If the vaccine does come through by the end of next year. But even the talk of it will get things in the right direction. And once you remember, we got to get people working. I mean, last yesterday, 87, what, 87,000, 800,000 people still uh, filing for unemployment, new claims. 
but yet the housing market very strong. So we're getting conflicting uh, results here. But it looks like you know the market does want to go higher if we get people back to work. That's the key. We have to open up the country. And it's not just up; it's around the world. I mean, uh, you're seeing in England now problems, seeing in France problems. So everyone's got to open their economy. We hope this vaccine that Roach is talking about, and Bears talking about, and Johnson and Johnson are talking about, are the real deal, and we can open the economy. Maybe not this year for sure, but maybe towards the next September, a year from now, things will get strong again. But uh, we we'll have to see. I mean, it, it's it's a it's a weird year. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen anything like this. You and I have been down here a few weeks, and uh, we haven't seen anything like this. I mean, you got a pandemic on one hand, you got a crazy election. Uh, it, it's it's really a, a weird time to be uh, in America and probably in the world. I don't know how things are politically in some of these other countries, but here it's 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 out of control.